If you've been watching Jeff FM lately, then you know that Jeff Wittick recently had another eye surgery in hopes to correct his vision and I believe also to help with him seeing double. He's had a number of surgeries in the last few years as a result of what happened while filming with David Dobrik in Utah back in 2020 when David was controlling the excavator. Jeff is currently suing David for more than $10 million as a result of the incident and since the lawsuit came about, David has stayed far away from hosting on YouTube. Whether or not the reason behind that is because of Jeff isn't so clear, but the timing lines up where him and Jeff are going back and forth on YouTube for a little while and then bam, the lawsuit went public and David stopped posting. He still keeps up on all other forms of social media and he's been on Snapchat the most, posting a ton of stuff on there and other members of the vlog squad has also stayed pretty active online as well, but it has gotten them in some trouble, especially this past week when Jeff had his recent eye surgery he was keeping those following him up to date on everything. And after his surgery, he posted a selfie on Instagram and said, another one down. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you, Dr. Cook. And thank you, pain meds. Fans noticed that at the same time he posted this, Todd had posted on his spam Instagram account saying, we don't give an F. And it's a series of photos of him and David and Zane. And I mean, everyone just felt like, this was them saying, we don't give an F about Jeff. And this was them just showing off, laughing, goofing off like, ha ha, look at you and look at us. But Todd wasn't having that and responded to the hate saying, ha ha, Jesus, this isn't about Jeff and I haven't deleted comments. I'm having fun with my friends, goddamn. Fans weren't buying it though and ended up spreading it around online so much so that Jeff was getting tagged in it and he ended up seeing it. And a lot of other people that love Jeff were really upset that people were tagging him because they didn't want him to see this, especially when he was fresh out of surgery and they didn't want him to get all worked up. They don't want him to get angry because the last time he had surgery, he did get upset with David and he made a whole video and he went off on everybody and they just didn't want him to have any regrets about things that he was saying or risk losing the lawsuit or anything like that. But he did see this and he ended up posting on Snapchat talking about it and said, this was just brought to my attention. Thanks for exposing yourselves, you scumbags. Wish I knew this is how y'all felt when I kept my mouth shut to try and protect these pieces of put down the booze and get to litigation. He also said, it's all good. I'll tell the real story soon, but I'm a little tired right now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. When I wake up, I'm going DEF CON 3 on the vlog squad or whatever's left of the fake group of friends with a few exceptions. So first off, this isn't the first time Jeff is saying that there is another side to the story of what happened to him in his eye that we haven't heard before. He hinted in a Jeff FM episode a few months ago that there was in fact more information in regards to what happened and he seems to be under the impression that this was all somehow pre-planned. I hate to see you so What if I told you that my accident wasn't as much of an accident, it was more of a failed prank that I wasn't in on. And then when it came down to it and I was in the hospital and they filled out an accident report and they said that I was driving yeah, it. The, yeah, so it's a super wrong situation. Where and that's stuff wrong. I never said to anyone. Yeah. So. Like, they, like you were super wronged yeah. and it sucked. It's just crazy how there could be more to this story here, and I'm sure more information will come out once everything has been settled by their lawyers, so we'll just have to see. The other part that Jeff had said in his Snapchat was that there were a few exceptions to the fake friend group. And I feel like he's talking about Jason here because Jason has said that although he's not really talking to Jeff right now, he is on good terms with Jeff. And from everything that Jeff has said on Jeff FM and in the last couple of months and year, it seems like he's really just hurt by Todd and David specifically. And also Nick, who goes by Jonah from the vlog squad, because those are people that completely completely cut him off and especially with Jonah that was like a recent person that he was filming with and they were still doing things like Jeff's barbershop and now it doesn't seem like they're on good terms anymore and Ethan even confirmed
confirm that on a recent episode of H3 when he was covering this whole situation between Jeff and David and Todd in this Instagram post. He said that Jeff told him that him and Jonah were not on speaking terms anymore and that David specifically said that he needed to cut it off because they are making him look bad by being friends with Jeff. Jeff is like told, uh, this is what Jeff told me. David's telling everybody, don't, you can't talk to him, you can't associate with him. Apparently even Jonah, the guy who Jeff used to make content with, was cut off. Mm. Like it's a f***ing cult. Like he actually yeah. cuts people off. Yeah. And now that Jeff's suing David, I think it's just... Um, yeah. And I will add that another reason why a lot of people felt like that post that Todd had done was about Jeff was because a couple episodes of Jeff of Amigo, I even covered this in a video. I said that Tana was at the Babylon movie premiere and Todd, Jason, David, and I think Scott were all at this movie premiere. And Tana says that one of the Vlog Squad members at their prehistoric age came up to her and was like super upset that she had been talking about how previously she was at David's launch for Dobrix and said that a lot of people in David's life were saying that they miss Jeff and coming up to her asking, how he was doing and saying that they wish they could reach out but they can't and she was just like annoyed that they would even say that they want to but won't and she just found that so childish and like be a man and reach out if you want to reach out like don't say that you can't because of david so she said at this movie premiere they came up to her and was like don't talk about me on jeff fm like just do not talk about what i tell you in private on a public platform and then they got Jeff blacklisted from the event. Like he could not come in to the event if he had shown up. They said anybody but Jeff Wittig is allowed to come into this event. I got pressed by a grown man. Yeah. For things I said on <laughs> the things that I said on your last podcast about certain people's actions, I was accosted for. Coming at my neck, like. There's two sides to every story. You don't know what it oh, is. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, What's blah. the other side? I literally said F the other side. Suck a and die. Like what the actual made me so, so, so mad. But it ended up coming out that it was Todd that was upset at Tana that night. So that's just another reason why people felt like that was all an attack on Jeff because of that whole situation. As for Jeff's recovery, it's been really nice to see him surrounded by people trying to keep him in good spirits. Tana even flew out to Utah to help take care of him and film a podcast episode with him. And everyone in the comments really praised her for doing that for him. Okay, Jeff, say hi. Hey. Hi. Okay, go back. Make sure you get the right eye. I can I can see which one has has the problem. Okay. Open it. Just kidding. Just try to get in the crack. Don't even dare. Oh. Oh. Perfect. Wow, that feels good. Play the Euphoria song. Play the Euphoria song. I mean, truly, if you would have told me a couple years ago that Tana Mojo was going to be there for Jeff in this way, flying out to help him after surgeries caused by David Dobrik, I would have been like, what on earth are you talking about? Tana, a really good friend? Like this? I mean, imagine hearing about her character growth like this after an event like TanaCon. I really do think that she has come a long way and I like her friendship with Jeff. Obviously, Tana's problematic, but I like them as friends. And the way that she was helping him read the sponsorships for the Jeff FM episode, literally that alone, people found it adorable and it was so sweet. Try it free for this? 30 days is enough time to try and completely forget about a subscription or service. Before you know it, you're paying for a subscription you don't even use every single month. With Rocket Money, you can change that with a few quick taps. She's and I'm cooking. looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year. I'm cutting back on expensive takeout and delivery and getting started with HelloFresh. So thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring the show. We love you and... You're so gorgeous. <laughs> you're beautiful. And it honestly just makes it that much more upsetting that the vlog squad came off as a close friend group only to see them leave Jeff in the dust and make him feel like they would even be low enough to shade him after a surgery. Because even if they didn't shade him, they've clearly done enough to him to even give him the impression that they're the type of people to make fun of him during a time like this. Now, I kind of want to go back to David and him post on Snapchat a lot. He did post this week on Monday in the Views studio. I know it's built into his house and he could just be doing it because Snapchat is really big right now and clickbait is really big on there. But the fact that he was showing it off made me wonder if he was actually trying to hint at something like him coming back and doing 
views again or if it was just for clickbait but it's just crazy to even think about him returning to youtube like what would he even say or do right now like i don't know so who knows if he you know just posted that just because it's a casual room in his house or if it was something more like him gearing up to respond to Jeff when he tells everyone what really happened on that lake in Utah. But as of right now, that's all that's come out and been said and what happened this past week. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.